I'm here with Mark Penn, who is the Chairman and CEO of Stagwell Inc., former Chief Strategy Officer, Microsoft, of course, Mark, um, pollster, political strategist. Nice to see you as always. Thank you. Nice to be here. Um, so we haven't spoken in a while, so I, I want to start with the political landscape. And of course, we've got so much going on, not the least of which is the uh, difficulties now facing Donald Trump. What do you make of it? Has it changed the game at all? Well, I don't really think it's changed the game in the way that maybe the first indictment did. Mm -hmm. I think that, that Donald Trump's campaign was sort of moribund and then he got indicted by Alvin Bragg in New York and that kind of lit up the board. And now, you know, it's another it's another indictment, ho-hum. It doesn't, I think, make that kind of galvanizing difference. I mean, if, if only Ron DeSantis could get indicted, he could get somewhere. Well, it's, I mean, not to, I don't want to get too much into the Alvin Bragg, of course, but I do think that this one is seen to have more seriousness uh, consequences for our candidate. Um, but you think it's really, from what you see in the polls and what you've gleaned just from watching this, it really is more a rallying cry for his base. Well, the voters just see it as political, right? Nothing happened to Hillary. She destroyed documents and emails and used BitBeach. Bit nothing's happened to Biden. And then everything happens to Trump. I mean, nobody, nobody really is going to be into the specifics of this thing. This is like, oh, really another indictment against Trump. But I don't think it's also galvanizing his base any more than the last one, right? It just reinforces the notion that the swamp is going to do anything they can to deny you for your vote. And that's the way, uh, that's not the way I'm seeing it personally. That is the mm -hmm. way his, his voters see it. And I, I don't really see that changing, at least as of now, because maybe he was a little flippant with documents. Uh, and then they just go to, well, what about Hillary? Right. Or what about Hunter, right? Now that's also uh, become a refrain, Hunter Biden. So